Gladys Wilson went to school with young Norma Jean Baker, who of course was later known as Marilyn Monroe. Monroe, I mentioned the sex symbol of her time. You and Marilyn are the same age. That's right. They think May I'm... we inquire? They think I, uh, I'm her teacher, usually, when they ask me now. So, because of the difference in the, in the look. And you are both, if Marilyn had You want to know how old I am? <laughs> 64. So, Marilyn Monroe, if she were on that stage today, would be 64 years old. Isn't that amazing? The sex symbol of her time. Marilyn Monroe, your classmate in junior high? Right. I was... Uh, was she as sensual, even then, as she later became as an actress? She was. She was... She developed very early in, in her life, so... <laughs> she had it. She was very nice, very pretty, and very shy. And the boys all liked her very much. But she was a loner, so we couldn't really get real close to her. Um, Did you... She was poor, and I don't think she had much of a home life. And so she couldn't ask us to her home, and she couldn't take the phone calls that uh, young girls, teenagers do. You say that uh, she was poor and a loner. Did you girls in the in crowd sort of shun her back then? Perhaps a little bit. I regret that, but I was always nice to her. And she was always uh, nice and wanted to be accepted by all of us. But you couldn't get close to her. It was a limited friendship. And I don't know of anybody that she was close to in junior high school. When she made it big, when Norma Jean Baker became Marilyn Monroe, describe your reaction. We were having a group for dinner that night, and most of us had gone to junior high and high school together. And one of the fellows said, do you know who Marilyn Monroe is? Well, I knew who Marilyn Monroe was by the covers of Life magazine and had heard about the calendar and all, but I didn't know until he said Norma Jean Baker, and that was impossible. The last person in the world that ever could have made it, really. It was just amazing, and it took me a while to believe it. I was wondering what you think about her death. Gladys, how do you feel about the way Marilyn passed away? First of all, do you think that we know the whole story? Do you think it was a simple suicide? I doubt it very much, but my knowledge of her just kind of ended and I, uh, with junior high school and high school. So I really don't want to say what I think, if that's all right.